our next project. That looks like a mess. What have I done this time? Granted, our boat has to work in exactly six days for a charter. So I hope he didn't bite off more than he can chew. But I have ultimate faith in my husband's capabilities. So why did you decide to do this? Well, because half of them don't work. Okay. Like, the tack, which is fairly important. The fuel gauge, which is really important. And the Hobbs meter, which tells me both Hobbs meters, neither one of them work. He has taken off the steering wheel, marked his wires. Huh? I said you've taken off the steering wheel and marked your wires and left a large gaping hole in <laughs> South Florida weather. Luckily, we have plastic bags. Mark these. Yeah, right there. Get that out. That 5200 it is in, which means I pretty much hosed the switch. So, mental note if you don't like a switch, then you 5200 it in. But if you ever want to get it out and use it again, you may want to reconsider. survive. May not, but it might. what now? Nothing. I put these lights in there for these. Mm -hmm. That would require me redoing the whole thing. But if I just cut a square out on this side and put these factory lights in there, then I don't have to rewire all of this because it's a circuit board. So basically this would be what you'd see on the outside and this would go on the inside. Those look a lot cooler. <laughs> okay, well, then I guess you need to go through the schematic and tell me which where it, each one of those individuals just take the voltmeter and put it on here, and then you follow that pin all the way across the circuit board. Tell me where it goes, and that pin all the way across the circuit board. And you tell me where it goes, and so on and so forth until we get to the end, and then we have to figure a way to put a piezo in there. Uh-huh. Maybe something that should have been forethought in the design of said piece. Yes, but I hadn't taken the dash apart yet. And of course it's starting to rain. Well, my husband is with power tools. And a large gaping hole in the boat. Well, wrapping up another, not all DIY is always that much cheaper just due to the fact that 
this tack issue. Everything else came out great. Uh, the four in one works awesome, but tack issue. I was constantly battling, uh, you know, AC pulses versus square wave versus uh, Hall effect sensors and. I learned a whole bunch about tax, but all in all, it cost me an extra 60 bucks on the tax when if I had just gone over to a tax place and bought the tax for um, 175 bucks, I'd have been done. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting new ends on it now because the old ones were circles and these are spades. But um, they worked fine. I plugged it right in and it went right off. I mean, it would have saved me, you know, three or four days I was trying to put pack adapters and everything and finally I said just forget it and went and got this from the guys over there they knew exactly what they were doing and away we went and would you like to give them a plug I will finally uh, wrap this one up yeah the guys over at Lauderdale uh, speedometer they uh, they know what they're doing they you know you think I knew what I was doing but <laughs> But I think we, I made a really good new contact over there. Uh, they seem to be really, you know, really nice guys. They definitely know their gauges. And after uh, looking six, your Halifax sensor up for what, five months? <laughs> yeah, he just programmed it in about 30 seconds and set it right to the uh, Hobbs meter. Yeah, the hour meter's time that the old ones were, and we were done. So, this is the new completed gauge. That is the new tachometer. And this is how it looked prior to. We haven't redone this one yet. So, yeah, they do kind of match better. Say again. Fired up. One more project down. Got the solar farm. A 48 volt alternator to go. Two weeks to do it. We can bang them out. It's been a while since we've given you a good look at Sailor Man. Sailor Man has filled up now. Now that we got the new store, let's have a look. This is a pamphlet. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. This is our little brother. We'd love to eat you. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. And, uh, oh, geez. As you can see, Sailor Man has a plethora of used and new gear. short on space? $250. How much? $250. Bet we could even get a deal on it. But that fit for 
We have a space. Better uh, get the tape measure before somebody else grabs it. You needed to fix it Friday anyway. You, got, you can get force tin stove, you can get just about everything, you name it. If you can't find it here, I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist. Yeah, after looking it up, unfortunately it's a refrigerator and we really need to freeze it. Uh, we'll keep our eyes out. Always a friendly crew. Where are we going? Look at that. They even have beautiful brochures. The world's largest new and used marine emporium? That's the one. That's it. All right. Check it out. We've got all kinds of stuff. Oh. You wonder why we have some of it. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> but it makes us unique. This is true. When you get to Fort Lauderdale, it's worth the trip over here. <laughs>